what we're really creating is like a mud room in front of the cabin. I'm closing the deck in so that we can do daily activities out there that we need, need to without snow or rain getting on us. It's really unpleasant to have to go out and get wood and to find that it got wet. Okay, so I need 185 inches in length. It's 20 feet long. So I got six mil plastic. I could have got greenhouse plastic, but the six mil works. It's easier just to staple things up and then put your lathe over the top. I'm trying to get it fastened down so that I can cut the bottom knowing that it's long enough and um, with it whipping around and if I have to lay it out, it might tear. So I kind of want to just do it on the wall, get it done. Okay, so this side is a little bit longer. So I'm going to keep a little bit of this side long so that I can overlap it because the prevailing wind is from there. And um, So here's the problem. I don't want to be directing water down and into the deck. I want to be <laughs> allowing it to come off the deck. And so what I really need to do is tack it up underneath and then that's where I put the lace so that I can bend the plastic down over it so that it'll drip off the outside instead of the inside. Hard to do this one, one person. <laughs> and a short person at that. And then you run out of staples. Okay, so that will allow me to then tear this one off later and wrap it down and around. Okay, so here's the issue. You can't have that big of an expanse when you have a lot of wind without some kind of support behind the plastic. So I have to put in a couple two by fours. I don't know if I'll have to put them in up, or, up and down or horizontal. Be really nice if I could just do them horizontal because I have these that I could use up and that would be easy and convenient so we'll see. I'm, I'm not, not a huge fan of power tools. I mean I think they're really cool what they can do and all but they scare the living daylights out of me. They're so noisy. So There we go. Um, this looks like it was meant for a two by six, not a two by four. And if, I, if it's not all the way filled up, then I'm gonna have a problem with these sharp edges next to plastic, which is not a good thing. I could just toenail it in, I guess is what it's called. Um, I could just do that. Should I just do that? I have these left over. I wonder if I use these, if it would make it look a little dressier and tie it into the uh, other, uh, other side. Okay, so I have that side done. 
um, just with staples. I still need to put up the lath over the top and I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be interesting um, because my ladder is not the right height. So we'll have to, we'll have to think about that. I need to take down the clothesline so that I am not having to work around it. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to do about the clothesline. I'm still in the way right now. It always runs out. It always feels like it runs out at the most inopportune time, but it really doesn't. It's just that any time is inopportune when you're on the top of a ladder. The thing is, it's a tiny house. It costs $7,000 to purchase, and I can take it apart and put it back together with better materials at any time that I want to, and it won't cost very much. So it really is just a trial mortgage-free house. It's what we're working on is what's possible, what will work, teaching ourselves along the way, and just enjoying the process. Okay, so I have my drill bit and my actual drill, and so I'm going to put this little bit of lathe up just to show you how it's done, because it is important to do that because of the wind. screws that I saved and this old latch that I saved and um, I really like to save my hard work because it is I mean you may look and think oh it's not that expensive but why put it in the landfill why not use it again so I always repurpose everything <laughs> really warm in here. I don't have the fire going at all and it is cold outside. This is going to be super fun and interesting. Um, I need to stand the door up now and I've already got my plastic in place. I'd like to put another cross section on there but for now I'm kind of desperate just to have this up before my kids get home. So Swamp Creek Cabin introduced me to these lovely screws that have like the hex heads or the star, they have star heads and they work so much better and they're not stripping out. I know a lot of you wish I had an impact drill and I did buy one at one point but then I decided I couldn't afford it because I had too many other things to purchase so I love impact drills, I think they're fantastic um, but I have to be careful about what I'm purchasing because we're on a budget so this just has to be good enough. One of my favorite things to do is when I don't have hinges, I take an old pair of boots and make my hinges out of the boots. But something that is just put together with plastic, um, that's just holding plastic up like that, they work really good. I'm going to put this underneath the door so that it's held up just a little bit so it's not sagging. So 
also, it doesn't have to cost a ton of money to do projects, but it does mean you have to be willing to be the crazy lady who builds doors with old boots. Well, there you have it. Sammy and Jeremy are coming for dinner tonight, so even though I had all this work to get done today, I think I got it all done. I got the um, front of the cabin closed in with plastic. Hopefully we don't have any really strong wind before I can get that lathe up. Lath, lathe, lath, up. I need to get that up because the plastic won't hold out if I don't. Um, I got more wood chopped, which I think I'm getting more confident because I can see that I need to be pulling it behind me and then pulling forward when I chop the wood. Instead of just going chop like this, I have to bring it and swing it down, which was really exciting to learn. Um, I guess I could go out and chop some wood and show you what I, how I have improved. Um, and I'm tickled pink. I have the fire going again and um, I got the, I keep wanting to call it the greenhouse now. I got the front greenhouse organized so that I can work in it comfortably. It was super warm and nice. I still have some nice light coming in as you can see. Light coming in from the windows so it didn't block off all the light and the girls were about to come home from school and I'm so excited to have guests. Sammy's from Korea and we had dinner at her house last week and Jeremy watches the channel and it turns out we go to the same church and we met, I don't know, a couple months ago I guess when we got here. So it's been really fun to hang out with them and she's going to teach me how to make kimchi now. So. Super excited about that. Um, also, Darwin from Honeydew Carpenter over on his channel is showing you how he is sourcing free or extremely inexpensive parts for the rocket mass heater, so go check that out. Tell them hi for me, and um, we'll talk to you later.